Hi, welcome back to this Mackey's over 100 golf course season a year. Today is Thursday the 17th of August 2023. This is going to be course number 123 this year. And I haven't come very far. Five minute drive down to Royal Lytham Golf Club. Stayed in St Anne's for 30 years and never played here yet. So I'm really looking forward to it. I won't be filming it as I'm playing because I'm playing in a Mizuno Golf Pairs event. So what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be playing first. And uh, I'll give you my round up later. So let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 123 of 2023. It's Royal Lytham St Anne's Golf Club. On the tee, the man who's lived in St Anne's for 30 years but never played here from Captain Tillich in Scotland, Smithy! That's the opening at Royal Lytham, 174 yards, par 3. Straight down, there's uh, numerous bunkers guarding the green. And here's a shot of the first green at Royal Lytham. Quite a number of pop bunkers all round there. That's the second hole at Royal Lytham, uh, it's 399 yards, par 4, a lot of fairway bunkers. Uh, playing off the green tees today, uh, not the back ones that the professionals play off, that's for sure. Uh, it's a stiff wind heading out at the moment. All on the fairway at the second. A view up to green, again bunkers on the left, and look at these ones. These beauties just here on the fairway. A few humps and bumps as well. On the third tee, this is 432 yards, stroke index 1. Again, the numerous fairway bunkers right up there. Uh, Railway lines out to the right here. So I know this place rather well. So I've watched all the the opens here, the seniors open. Right, just coming up the third fairway. That's a long, long hole into the wind today. Ah, right, just looking down at the third green there. Very long, narrow one. This is me from up at the 14, just have a look back. And after three holes into the wind, we turn right round, going back towards the clubhouse for the fourth hole, it's 371 yards, par four. Quite a bit, a bit of rough along here, off the, off the tee anyway, a lot of danger. And the Bungie Street bunkers further down. And we're on the fourth, this one's actually a dog leg, I didn't tell from the tee. The flag's hidden at dog legs to the left, further down you get. St Anne's in the background there. Back into the wind for the fifth hole, par 3, 170 yards. And kind of raised green here, a wee bit of trouble. The usual bunkers. Now we're on to the sixth hole at Royal Lytham. And St Anne's. That strains the course is actually at St Anne's, it's not at Lytham at all. People think it's one in the same place, but definitely not. Uh, see here's the 6th, the first par 5 at 474 yards. I'm not sure where it dog legs, we'll find out. Let's go up. Now we're on the 7th at Lytham, uh, consecutive par 5s. Well, this is so tough, straight into the wind, 518 yards. Open here. I'm normally up the bank at the back of the green, it's a great one to watch the pros play. See where their second shot goes, whether they can reach. And we're still walking up the fairway on the seventh. Fantastic hole this one, even though it goes on for ages. And as I said earlier, if you're going to come and watch the opener or the seniors open it, let them come and watch this hole. Sit up in the bank and watch the, watch the pros try to go on into it. And yet another look at the green at the seventh. And this is my favourite spot for watching the open at Lytham, behind the seventh green. Look at way back down. And here's another beauty of the eighth hole, 389 yards, it's a uh, par four. Flat to start off with, then uh, the green's on a, a raised plateau. Lots of bunkers sitting uh, if you're short of the green. And small matter of a rail line to the right hand side there. That's the view up to the green. You can see the bunkers guarding it at the bottom of there. Looking back down here, I think it's just straight up to the green there, but there's a big gully in there in the middle as well. You catch anything that's short, so you've got to be full aiming at the flag. And this is the ninth hole. Uh, three par threes on the front line. 
This one's 144 yards, beautiful hole, it's, it's three terrific holes in succession. And lots of pop bunkers around there, lots of runoffs in the green. Super hole this one. Ah, that's a look back at the ninth from uh, the tenth tee. Uh, it looks easy enough, unless you hit the green it's super tough. And we're on to the turn now at Royal Lytham and the 10th hole and it's 320 yards so a shorter par 4, the wind's now behind us. Marker post, slightly out to the left, keep away from the bushes on the right hand side and then it's coming back into the right again. And you can pass the slight dog leg on the 10th and this is the view into the green. It's a sloping green, no pressure on the hill. A big bunk on the right hand side. And we're at the 11th. Now it's 465 yards. Par 5. It's like dog leg to the left. Uh, wind's right behind now. It's so number 12, the last day par 3 is 157 yards. Some bunkers at the front of the green. Take a look into the 13th green. As they approach in, a lot of bunkers down the left hand side. I'll get some guys playing the Mizuno Pierce Clump on the green at the moment. Now wind's blowing left to right. I'm not quite sure if there's a dog leg involved, it looks straightish. Just long. Here's the 17th, 417 yards, par 4, and I think it's going to fade to the left down the bottom this time. Oh, it's a long walk. Ah, this is the dog leg at the 17th, oh, and pin up there. There's a lot of rough in the way if you don't hit a big shot. Oh, I don't know, you're going to have to lay up, it's a long one. That's a, it's fiendish, this hole, really. There's all sorts of hazards. And just approaching the 17th, this is the green here. Again, you've got to be careful, bunkers, bunkers, and more bunkers. Looking down the 18th, final hole. Iconic clubhouse there, Lyons and Lyons. Ah, it's 371 yards, one behind today. Fairway bunkers are in force. Well, that's me finished. I've had my round here at Royal Lyons St Anne's. Said I've been here 30 years and never played it. Uh, what's the views on it? Oh, it's not a wow course. It's technically brilliant, it's in fantastic condition as you would inspect, expect. Loads of bunkers, really, really tough. Uh, especially for the first nine into the wind, it's brutal today. Uh, a little bit of coming back. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice experience. Uh, but as I said, it's not one you go, well, I well, must get back there. Uh, it's, as I said, technically a very good course. At this point, the wind got a bit too much. So what am I going to give it out of 10? It's got to be a 10, uh, just for the pure standard of the course. So I'll catch you tomorrow, St Anne's Old Links. Good night.